Hello, my name is Lisa Roy. I'm the Senior Account Director of Client Services at Epsilon, managing the owner communication program. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you to detail significant changes to the program, which will occur in April. These changes will enhance the program in key areas of execution to deliver improvement to SCR, revenue, and the overall owner experience. Epsilon, the account team, and our executive associates are excited to be partnered with you and your dealers in the evolution of OCP, which will help support the achievement of future business goals and objectives. Agenda. Here are the agenda items for today. We will detail specific evolution elements, discuss dealer paid options, and our consultative services for supporting the launch. Evolution, April 2019, OCP and Evolution. The original launch of the Owner Communication Program was in 2014. Since then, OCPE has delivered successful results and supported the achievement of dealer SCR objectives. With Evolution in April, communication channels will be added and key elements of the program enhanced to increase response rate, SCR, and customer pay revenue. These enhancements begin with the development of new propensity models that will optimize the value of the customer within specific owner segments, or DOFU. Messages and offers will be constructed to appeal to customer dispositions to optimize response rate and reduce risk of defection. All new creative images, offers, and formats will target individuals at key points within the program cadence to maintain loyalty or to re-engage customers who have missed an interval to bring them back to the dealership. Digital channels will add communication coverage, interacting with customers across devices where they socially engage, shop, or search for products and services. The new reports will align program results with KPIs to provide dealers with a comprehensive view of their overall performance. Segmentation. Let's talk more about how segmentation will enhance the program. The owner database has been organized into specific segments since owners within each of these groups demonstrate unique behaviors and their vehicles have varying service needs. The new propensity models will continually analyze historical data, assess results by segment, and identify moments in time when a certain message and offer should be deployed to improve response and optimize customer value. In the early years of vehicle ownership, needs are more maintenance than repair oriented and customer pay revenue is minimal. These owners are more closely aligned with the dealer from their Toyota care years and usually require less enticement and less engagement to remain loyal. As the vehicle ages and service needs add to the cost of ownership, retention and loyalty are challenged. Propensity models will identify when it's necessary to serve up more compelling offers to improve response within DOFU segments, where the revenue and reward for retention is that much greater. The ultimate goal is to optimize the value of the customer and reduce risk of defection. Customers will be targeted smartly and effectively with coupon offers that align to vehicle needs, address the independent repair facility influence, and at times the need to engage with the customer sooner in the cadence cycle. The mid-interval touch points are uniquely designed to target at key defection points, which are brakes, battery, and tire needs. Models will be constructed around historical data, vehicle, and geographical attributes. Customers will be scored, then targeted based on their likelihood to respond. Business rules will govern communication frequency across channels to deliver program efficiencies. The models will work dynamically within OCP. Owner data will be frequently analyzed and future targeting decisions may be adjusted based on results to deliver continuous program improvements. Creative Refresh. All OCPE communications have been updated and enhanced and we've made significant changes to align with a more personal owner experience. These new creative enhancements will improve customer response significantly as we launch Evolution. Some of these are modifying the overall size of the direct mail communications, which provides a clean, crisp design. The new creative will work dynamically within OCP and align to customer segments. Loyal customers will receive imagery and message alignment with more lifestyle and driving experience. Customers identified as at risk of defection will be sent messages that are more service lane and technically oriented. Our spokesperson Jan will be integrated into many of our touch points to align with the tier one voice of the customer. 
Copy points will be concise and hard hitting, and call to action buttons and vehicle health check icons will be prominently featured. The creative here is an example of the direct mail maintenance reminder. This piece is a trifold self mailer at 10 by 5 and a half, and the larger size allows for better use of imagery and offers. Here's the corresponding email communication that mirrors the direct mail, allowing for a consistent message and voice. For both channels, direct mail and email, key enhancements focus on the elements shown here. Vehicle lifestyle imagery, usage of Jan, the voice of the customer, amenity icons, optional dealer images, and vehicle health check icons. The creative feature here is for the recapture communication. Notice that the imagery and strong messaging is designed specifically for those customers that are at risk of defection. We've switched the focus to prominent images of service tech and strong message callouts that emphasize genuine parts, diagnostics, and certified technicians. The corresponding recapture email is shown here and continues to drive home the defection message and its urgency within the customer messaging. For recapture both mail and email, the focus is on key elements seen here, service imagery, voice of the service tech, hard-hitting headlines, and offers. Digital display and paid social. In this next section, we'll discuss how the addition of digital channels will expand reach and improve response. Let's start with paid social. Like the Cadence direct mail and email communications, paid social will adhere to the same action-based rules. Specifically, VINs are managed within OCP so that the VIN is aligned to each dealer based on SCR rules. Social media Facebook ads will be sent on behalf of each dealer. Customers will receive relevant cadence touch points and offers that are specific to particular dispositions, such as maintenance reminders, follow-up, and recapture. Customers will have the option to print or save their offer. If saved, the customer will receive frequent reminders that the offer has not been used and to do so while it's still valid. A short video will also launch within the ad to reinforce the overall message and theme. Moving on to digital display. Epsilon's platform takes a dealer line customer from the dealer owner database and matches them to an online profile. We then serve the customer a series of ads across their devices, allowing us to measure the reach and response by device engagement. This slide provides an example of the customer's experience. John owns a 2013 RAV4, and through his online transaction history, we know John's physical address, email address, VIN, and dealer ID. Our industry-leading platform allows us the ability to match and identify John to our online profile. Once this occurs, we now know that John has three devices, allowing us the ability to serve him with relevant OCP cadence messages while he's browsing sports articles on his laptop, playing games on his smartphone, or reading his news article from his favorite website on his iPad. Once he's convinced he needs to come in for service, he can schedule an appointment by clicking the ad, which will take him to the dealer's website, he may call the dealership directly or show up at the dealership without an appointment. No matter how John chooses to receive service, we will track the message and attribute results based on the completion of a repair order. With the addition of social and digital display, the owner communication program now offers an omni-channel solution. As shown here, we can communicate to an owner across channels and devices, providing a more comprehensive and effective method for the customer. Enhanced reporting. With the new opportunities provided by Evolution, we'd like to provide additional detail on how reporting will be affected. Although a full suite of reports is available to measure performance, Epsilon felt it necessary to provide next steps for dealers to take decisive action. With a new dashboard and KPI drill down capability, dealers can view their individual performance measured to benchmarks. Lead lists will be made available that are significant and specific to KPIs such as SCR and SMS and will identify customers who are at risk or failing to maintain retention or market share status. Pre-designed direct mail and email templates allow dealers to initiate swift tactical action at these at-risk customers. Dealer options. What's available for dealers within Evolution? With select groups of non-SCR VINs having been removed from OCP in June 2017, we've created dealer paid cadence options, allowing dealers to continue to market to these VINs. As a result, 
the majority of Epsilon dealers have enrolled and are utilizing this option today. In January, the remaining non-SCR VINs will be removed. Dealers have the same option, allowing them to continue to market to these VINs at a cost of $0.69 cents per piece, with email included. SCR and non-SCR VINs are managed and deployed daily through the same OCP cadence solution, allowing Epsilon to provide targeting, segmentation, new creative, and enhanced reporting within the $0.69 cent cost. Dealer support. To ensure our dealers are fully aware of the value and benefits of the Enhanced Owner Communication Program, we will support the overall strategy and execution utilizing our field and PHQ teams. This support will begin with visits being scheduled for the beginning of February. We will provide dealers with a video and sell sheet promoting the enhancements within the program. Our dealers will not be required to re-enroll in the OCP program. They will only need to select new coupons and confirm any specifics. In addition, our program headquarters team is on call to provide any additional support or answer any questions a dealer may have. Lastly, we are currently working at constructing a dealer paid digital package option, which will be available in the second half of 2019 for non-SCR VINs. In closing, we at Epsilon hope the information provided today has been an informative overview of what to expect with the launch of Evolution in April. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions if needed, and thank you very much for your time.